Hey, it's Tim here. Today I'm talking about multi-factor authentication with Tableau Online. Now today I received a call and an email from Tableau telling me that I needed to set up my multi-factor authentication for Tableau Online because in February Salesforce is actually going to enforce this as a requirement for Tableau Online. So um, this is the email that I got. You can see it up on screen um, and it basically goes through the requirement that Salesforce has kicked in. I think this has always been a requirement for Salesforce and it's just basically consistency across the whole entire Salesforce platform. So we're getting it here on Tableau. Now there's some really good articles. Now what I will say is that um, if I get this as an everyday user, I don't know if all users are getting it or if it's just site admins, but if I get this as an everyday user, it's kind of a bit of a merry-go-round because if I go to all of these pages, um, you kind of have to go on this Easter egg hunt to find the right place to sort of get the relevant information. But if I click on this first one, which is about authentication, it actually does talk a bit about the multi-factor authentication and specifically for Tableau Online, you can see there's this page here. If you click on that, you go to yet another page which talks through the different processes. And it actually talks about multi-factor authentication with single sign-on and multi-factor authentication without single sign-on. The version without single sign-on is what I'm gonna be covering in this video. And essentially that version allows you to use uh, the Salesforce Authenticator app or any authentication app that supports the standard basically. And so you can set these up through a specific method. Now. When I actually went through this guide, it walks you through how to set that up. Essentially, you need to be a site or, or server admin in order to do this. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to go through the steps, but essentially doing it for myself. I can't really set up a, a use case here for an enterprise because essentially I don't have uh, more than three people on my Tableau online site and they're all me, essentially. So uh, I'm just going to go through this process, at least for myself, just in case it's useful for someone else who's trying to go through this step or understanding what they need to do. Let's get stuck in. So I'm over here on Tableau Online. What I need to do is I need to go over to the users page. At first, I thought you'd need to go to the settings page, but for this one, you need to go to the users page and you arrive at a page which basically has all your users. Once you're on the users page, you can do this one of two ways. You can either click on these three dots, go to authentication and you get this little option, or you can actually select these three uh, people here, essentially all me, go to actions, uh, go to authentication, and you get the same option. So. You can see that I've uh, essentially set it up and it's brought me back to this home page because essentially now I need to log in for my Tableau account. So you'll see here I have a login. Now, in order to do this, I actually use a two-factor authentication app called Authy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to record the screen uh, just so that you can see what's going on on my iPhone at the same time as what I'm doing on the screen. So let me just go ahead and start the recording so I don't forget. And now that recording is going, we're pretty much good to go. So let's hit sign in now. My username and password remain exactly the same, but what it should do is it should realize that I haven't set up two-factor authentication before and it will take me to this page to register a verification method. Now what I can do is I can use the Salesforce Authenticator app if you're part of the Salesforce ecosystem that's a great option you'd already have this maybe but if you don't want to use that maybe you've got another Authenticator app like Google Authenticator or in my case Authy I'm going to go ahead and click on this option here. Now what you can also do is you can create a recovery code that's useful in case let's say your phone gets lost and you've got no other place to get an authentication code. I always make sure I grab those, but I've clicked on the authenticator option here just so we can set this up first. I always do this first and I go get, grab the recovery codes. So you can see you get a little uh, QR code here. Now I've blurred out the QR code here because essentially if I show you this, you can log in as me as long as you have my email and password as well. So that kind of defeats the point of security. So I've blurred it out here so you can't see what I'm doing. But essentially all you need to do is point your phone at, or whatever at this QR code um, and uh, the important thing here is make sure you have the Authenticator app open. So when I say point your phone at this QR code, make sure you're doing it in the Authenticator app, not just your camera. Your camera won't necessarily have the authentication capabilities to handle this. So here I am in Authy. I'm just going to go ahead and click plus. You can see the QR code option comes up. I'm going to go ahead and select the QR code. You'll see that it finds a QR code and it adds the account and it gives it a name. You can see that it says Tableau Online. It even has an icon, which is really handy. I can go ahead, click hit save. And now it's got a code that's running up on the screen. I can then use this code 656820. Uh, enter that in and I can say connect. And essentially all that's happening is um, the application is making sure that the code that it's sort of set up in that QR code is working as expected. That code changes every few seconds. So essentially it's never going to be the same, at least for uh, the 30 seconds that it's running. And now when I go to log in, you can see I'm going back into the same Tableau online site. If I go to sign in, you can see that it might ask me for my two-factor authentication code. And so here I can enter the new one now, 639294. 
hit verify. We get verified. It's using the Salesforce uh, Authenticator verification system there. And now that we're in, we're pretty much good to go and we've logged in. So we've set it up. It's nice and easy to do and we are happy. Now, what I wanted to do is get some recovery code. I'd be really intrigued to see if there's a way for me to actually go and get the recovery code. So yes, there is an option. If you go to user settings, um, you go into the setup, there's actually an area here where you can manage the multifax authentication modes. If I go ahead and click on that link, I should get brought back to this page. And you can see here that I can actually even give this a name. I always recommend giving this a name so that you know which application you're using on your phone and you can save that. You can add another authenticator app, but I sometimes this deletes the one that's there because it kind of defeats the point to have multiple versions of this. But what I will do is I will add a recovery code. So I, I always do this. I always grab these. I copy these and I put this in a secure place in a uh, password manager or something like that, just in case my phone gets lost and I need another way to get into the account and I don't have my two factor. This is going to become very handy. I know it sounds like a very simple thing or very easy thing. Oh, who's going to lose your phone? Um, Authy is actually pretty good because it backs itself up to the cloud as well. So if you get a new phone, a new device, you don't download it, you put a password in, you uh, do the authentication method using your phone or you verify it with your phone or email or something like that. And then you're back in and everything's good. It even works on an Apple Watch or other devices as well. It works on Windows, works on iOS, it works everywhere. That's why I like it. But it's also good to ca capture these uh, recovery codes and save them elsewhere. So again, I've blurred this out because you shouldn't be able to see this. Once you're done with that, you obviously get the recovery codes and everything is good to go. And now you can go off and pretty much be done with this. This will send you back to Tableau Online and you're ready to go. I'm just going to save my recovery codes off screen here so you can't see these. Let me just put these off screen and let's go into a uh, document here and I will paste this in my password manager later after this video. So that's pretty much it. Um, that's how to set up two-factor. If you've gone through this process, maybe as a uh, as an admin has kicked it off and enabled it, you might see this option again. Um, it's really important to actually use this documentation. I think it's handy to, to, to sort of uh, get users over onto this link here. So you can see there's an actual page here by Tableau, I'll put it in the description below that walks you through the steps. So this is actually a really good guide. I'd recommend you maybe just download this as a PDF, as a standardized thing, and you put it in an FAQ so users know how to use this. But it's gonna be really handy for Tableau Online. Now, if you've got other single sign-on methods, um, you might need to go through some other steps. Maybe your enterprise has a version or an app that it likes to use. Sometimes Microsoft has its own one as well. So I don't know too much about server setups here and SSO in other contexts. I really only know about Tableau Online where you don't have any other single sign-on method. So that's what this video has been about. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.